Hi everybody, I'm Steve Jackson, your host for the Western Doubleheader. And we've got a couple of classics for you today. From 1960, The Magnificent Seven. From 1961, One-Eyed Jacks, Marlon Brando's only directorial effort. But we start with The Magnificent Seven. Many people say it is their favorite Western. It's shown on television more basically than any other movie. And people just never seem to get enough of it. it had a great cast. Yet Yul Brynner, Steve McQueen, Eli Wallach, James Coburn, Charles Bronson, Robert Vaughn, on and on and on. And one of the great scores for any kind of Western. And it fit like a glove. And a lot of people say the score is the biggest star of the Magnificent Seven. John Sturges' Magnificent Seven. We'll talk a little bit more about it after we watch the Magnificent Seven. <laughs> provide food like a good father to fill the mouths of his hungry men. Guns, ammunition. You know how much money that costs? Huh? Huh? No. The days of good hunting are over. Once there was horses, cattle, gold, fruit from the trees, no more. Now I must hunt with a price on my head. Morales at my heels. What a finish. What a classic finish. The heroes ride off into the sunset. Three, only three of the seven survived to the conclusion of this movie. This movie started a franchise. There were three remakes, including one here very recently with Denzel Washington, a television series. And then of course, the great score from Elmer Bernstein, the theme from The Magnificent Seven was basically co-opted by one of uh, the world's great tobacco companies and used as their theme for years and years as it was the theme for the M-Man. I won't say what cigarette brand that was. The Magnificent Seven almost didn't get filmed. There was an actor strike about to hit Hollywood, but John Sturgis was able to line up his actors, get them all signed, and get them on down to their location in Churubusco, Mexico, and they shot the Magnificent Seven. The Magnificent Seven quickly led to the great escape from John Sturges. Sturges used three of the same actors, Steve McQueen, James Coburn, and Charles Bronson. Our second feature today, the only movie ever directed by Marlon Brando, and that's One-Eyed Jacks, and we'll get to that shortly. 